Hello everyone and welcome to week 6 of the college football season. Today the number one ranked Golden Panthers of FIU take on the Kansas Jayhawks. It's more Big 12 action this week as we look at the standings. FIU on top is the only undefeated team. But in conference play, FIU and Oklahoma stand at one apiece. Or I'm sorry, at one victory each. And Kansas will be playing their first Big 12 game of this season today. Kansas has a giant step in front of them in the number one ranked Golden Panthers. Can they fight through it? And we are off here as Isaac Roberson is back at about the five to return this kick. He takes it up, he finds some room on the sidelines, up past the 40, past the 50, and to about the 44 yard line on that return, 52 yards. And out comes Jarvis Holland, who comes away from a giant game, 240 through the air, and two passing touchdowns as well as a rushing. And we start with the rushing game, and Ronnie Clark had a big day last week, and look at the power, just carrying a defender for an extra about five to six yards down to around the five-yard line. Ronnie Clark, the freshman running back, really showcasing his power on that run, as well as his vision just to move in and around defenders. As look at that power. Second goal now here on the five yard line. They go with the option. Holland powering through one tackler. And that is a touchdown FIU. The Golden Panthers score first as Jarvis Holland able to just show his fortitude and power through the would be tackle. There it is, just the pure force of Holland. First and 10 now for Kansas. Rick Nick, or I'm sorry, Nick Rich is the quarterback for Kansas as Brian Washington is their big playmaker. You'll probably see a lot of both men as this is a no huddle style offense as Washington now off that pitch. A gain of five and that's a first down for Kansas. First and ten here now as Washington gets the handoff out of the pistol and that's an eight yard gain. Second and two as the no huddle continues here for Kansas. Rich now handing off no into an option and he goes nowhere but wait a minute folks it looks like Big John Bryant is hurt we'll have more on that as we get word as it's third and one now there's the handoff it's an option run here for Nick Rich and he takes that one up for a gain of 12 nearly to the 40. Third and 10 now here nearing the 40 of FIU as Rich went for the pass and he goes down. That was, who was that on that tackle? It was Larry Williams just coming right through. And that is his newest big play as we are getting word here. Third and nine for FIU completion to Clayton White there for the first down gain of 13. We're getting word though that it does not look very good for John Bryant. He will miss some action. They're saying possibly at least one week of play. As first and 10 now, the handoff to Ronnie Clark, and he powers through the defenders for another gain of nine. Ronnie Clark really coming of age here almost here in the midst of this season as a gain of eight there. From Chase Cox, you don't see the fullback get the ball much here with his offense anymore. But when he does, he is deadly. Tolan now off the play fake, finds Corey Irvin. And Irvin takes it up for 24 yards off that pass. And that is a big first down for the Golden Panthers. We take another look at this as Irvin was just wide open. No one around him, not a single Jayhawk. As it's second and 11 now here for FIU. As they're closing in on the red zone. There's the pass to White. And that will take them into the red zone after that gain of eight. Third and three now here. And a handoff to Ronnie Clark. Clark goes up the middle for a gain of six. And that is a first down for your Golden Panthers. 
Second and 10 now, the pitch to Marcus Jones. He gets the blocks needed, and that is a touchdown, FIU. Marcus Jones goes in showcasing a little of his power as well. It's a power show here this week. As that toss has been the top weapon for Marcus Jones this season. And now Kansas back on offense. Brian Washington, the man in motion. And Rich, though, finds Bridges on that play. And a 15-yard reception for Jason Bridges and enough for a first down. First and 10 now again as the handoff. No, it's an option. And Nick Rich gets a five-yard gain on that one. Third and five now here is Rich. Takes the snap looking for his man. He finds Brian Washington. And he had enough space to get just enough for the first down. A gain of six. First and ten out of the shotgun. Rich setting up a screen. And it gets picked off by David Richardson. The freshman out of Missouri with the interception. That is a pick six for the young cornerback. And that is a huge play for him this season. That will take us to the end of the first quarter. FIU up 21 to nothing over the Jayhawks. Welcome to the second quarter of play, folks, and it is second and nine for Kansas. As Smith gets a three-yard reception there from Rich, they go right back into that no huddle. Third and six as Rich takes the snap, and he throws that one away. He may have been looking for his man in the flats, but overthrew him by a mile. Second and 11 now for FIU back on offense as Ronnie Clark gets the handoff out of the shotgun. It's a six-yard gain. Third and five now here. Ronnie Clark behind Holland. Holland looking for Vaughn. Vince Vaughn with a nice 15-yard catch there. Another first down for FIU as there's the play action. Holland looking over the middle finds TJ Wright and a big 22-yard catch for the sophomore receiver. T.J. Wright hasn't been able to really find his way this season so far. He's been doing a good job when called upon. But Clayton White really has been the go-to guy if you were to put a name to the top receiver here. First and ten again here deep in the red zone. Holland finds Clayton White as we were just talking about him. And that's an 11-yard reception there for White down to the one-yard line. As Holland now handoff, no, it's play action. He goes to chase Cox, and that is another FIU touchdown. It'll be 28, pending the extra point, of course, to zero. As FIU has a new leader in career touchdown passes, as Jarvis Holland has just broken the record from EJ Hillard. As now Kansas back on offense here, second and six. And there is a pass out to the tight end, Cooper. Nelson Cooper with a 10-yard gain and enough for a first down for Kansas. Second and 10 now as Rich takes the snap. He's going right up the gut on his own. And look at him fight Mark Riley off. 17 yards for the quarterback, Nick Rich, and a first down for the Jayhawks. 28 to nothing as time starting to windle down here in the first half. Rich trying to run and he goes nowhere sacked by Big Pat Peterson, the man who came in and was supposed to replace Big Ross Livingston. He's done a decent job so far. Third and 15 now here for Kansas as Rich setting up the screen and Brian Washington had nowhere to go. He was corralled by not one, not two, but about three different FIU defenders. As now it's fourth down and they go for the fake punt run. Bill Frazier on the run and only gained two. That didn't work as it's a turnover on downs and FIU back on offense. Holland finds Vince Vaughn there on the first down for a 17 yard reception. And that will be a new set of downs for FIU, nearing the red zone already. Holland dropping back, but there he goes down. A loss of 11 on that one. Raymond Johnson, they sent the corner, and it caught Holland off guard. 
He just couldn't get the ball out of his hands in time. He was still looking downfield for his man. Second and 21 now. That nearly took them back to the 50. As Holland taking the snap, dropping back, looking for his man. He avoided one sack, but he went down and fumbled. Luckily, Kyle Sapp able to pick it up. However, it's third and 36 upcoming. Now, very rarely do you ever see something like this, third and 36. But, when you do see it, there is very little you have in the playbook to pick this up. Third and 36 here, Holland just chucks it, he's hit as he throws, and that falls incomplete. It's going to be a punt. As Kansas, with their best defensive drive of the day, now back on offense. As Smith with another reception, that's a gain of eight, and Kansas takes their first timeout of the day. Second and two now here as Nick Rich takes the snap out of the pistol, and nice job Larry Williams sticking with the receiver and just getting a hand in there to break up the pass. Third and two now as Nick Rich trying an option, but he doesn't pitch it in time, and he loses four. It's going to have to be a punt now for Kansas as Jason Perez able to stop Rich quickly. First and 10 here for FIU as they are already in Kansas Jayhawk territory. And Ronnie Clark with a nice run to the outside and add on a face mask. Kansas not doing themselves any favors, giving FIU an extra 15 yards. All in dropping back, he finds Corey, or, or I'm sorry, Casey Irving, and that is a touchdown for FIU. Another touchdown on the day, as that will make this game 34 to nothing, 35 pending the extra point. 53 seconds remain in the first half, folks, and Kansas not looking good right now. As Nick Rich tried to run, he was stopped there by David Barber, the freshman linebacker. Third and six now here for Rich and company. He's on the run and takes one hell of a shot from Nate Hodge. He just laid the wood significantly, and that will take us to half. FIU up, 35 to nothing. Welcome to the second half of play, folks, and the second stringers have been brought into the game for FIU already. And down goes Nick Rich already. Carl Alfred, a corner who sees very, very little playtime, able to pick up his first ever career sack. Congratulations, Carl, for getting your chance to make a play. Second and 13 now here is Nick Rich dropping back, and he goes down again. This time it's Neil Lewis, who has been a sack machine when he's been in the game. So a big hit and another sack. Down goes Rich. Third and 18 now out of shotgun. Nick Rich looking for his man, and he just throws that to get rid of it. He didn't want to get sacked again. Fourth and 18, which will lead to a punt. Second and 10 now here for FIU's offense. Terrell Clark in the ball game with Marcus Jones, who takes that one up for 14 yards. A new set of downs here now. Terrell Clark dropping back, looking for his man, but he runs out of time. A loss of eight on that sack. It looked like he knew who he wanted to go to, just didn't have enough time to get the ball out of his hands. Second and 18 now here for FIU. Let's throw Clark play action here. And he checks it down to Isaac Roberson, and Roberson trying to spin off the tackle gains 13 on that reception. Much more manageable, third and five now. Clark in the shotgun here, he takes the snap looking for his man. He was looking for Antonio Holt, I believe, and not able to hit him. He drops it. Fourth and ten, that will lead out Craig Alston. And Alston hits the crossbar. It bounces right off the crossbar. It's not the best weather here today. But you expect Craig Alston to make that kick. 
as it's first and 10 now for Kansas after the missed field goal. Nick Rich on the run and he goes down. Neil Lewis for the second time today. Second and 15 now following the sack. Rich hand off to Brian Washington and he fights his way through tackles and that's a gain of 14. Good running by Brian Washington today. Third and one here. Nick Rich out of shotgun looking for his man. Finds Nelson Cooper and that's a nine yard reception for a Jayhawk first down. The no huddle continues here for Kansas. Nick Rich looking for his man, finds Smith again, and another gain of eight for Brian Smith. They are slowly running down the field, are the Jayhawks, but Rich tried to run himself, and he goes down for the third time today from Neil Lewis. Third and six. What exactly do you do here if you're the Jayhawks? You try and go for it. Well, too bad as Nathan Adams was there to take Nick Rich down again. Sack after sack after sack by the second string defensive line. I hate to say it, but I'm more impressed that they're doing this good and the first string didn't. First and 10 now for FIU as their offense is back out there and Antonio Holt wide open for a big 28 yard reception there. As Holt able to just go right up the middle, they came in with the blitz, and that left Holt wide open for Terrell Clark to find. Second and five now here, and there's the handoff to Marcus Jones, takes it out of the shotgun, and he goes for a gain of seven on the draw. Another new set of downs, but second and down here, as Terrell Clark finds Marvin Clay. The freshman receiver, a gain of 18 there for him, and another set of downs for FIU in the red zone. Third and five here though, as they are closing in on the end zone, and Terrell Clark tried to get it out of his hands in time and is hit while he throws. A kick by Craig Alston makes it 38 to nothing as Kansas tries to do something, and that's not gonna help interception by Herbert Hawkins. The young corner grabs another interception here. He was big last year when it came to making the big interceptions. And this year he gets his first on the season, I believe, there with that pick. As that will take us to the end of the third quarter. FIU dominant. 38 to nothing. Welcome to the final quarter of play, folks. Terrell Clark and FIU on offense as that third and ten goes nowhere, and it will be a punt. As now Kansas back on the field here on offense. Rich finds Brian Washington on the sidelines, and he gains 15 on that catch. Third and six now here for Kansas. They need a new set of downs. To Washington again, and he goes out of bounds only two yards on that catch, which will mean that they have to go for it or punt, and they punt. It's Terrell Clark now back on offense with FIU setting up the screen for Jones, and Marcus Jones takes it up a gain of seven. That will make it third and one. Third and one now here in the I formation. Hand off to Antonio Holt, who was playing fullback. And that's a two-yard gain for the big tight end. First and ten now. Here's Terrell Clark dropping back. He goes to Antonio Holt, and that's a gain of seven. Clark and Holt really having the connection here this year. The second and three now. Hand off to Marcus Jones, and Jones goes right up the gut for more than enough for the first down. A gain of five. First and ten now here. As Terrell Clark drops back. He was looking for Isaac Roberson, but that one was intercepted. The first interception for Kansas today. And that one is picked off as he was looking for that corner out, and they stuck with it entirely. Second and 10 now here for Kansas' offense. Rich having done nothing today on offense. He goes down again. 
And this time it's Bo Williams who came in for the injured John Bryant. Third and 15 now. As Rich has to do something here at his shotgun. Setting up the screen and that goes nowhere. Neil Lewis was on top of it. And that will be the end of the game, folks. FIU just ran the clock out following that. Jarvis Holland having a very short work day. 9 of 13 for 128, but he did a lot in that time frame. The big thing to talk about is this is one of the few times we've seen FIU shut out an opponent. And I think they shut out Kansas 38 to nothing. Amazing. They are showing they are the number one team in the nation this year. And they plan on going for that three-peat with Jarvis Holland leading the charge. The big question, though, is now exactly who will stop them in Big 12 play. We know Oklahoma is always a challenge. We know Baylor is always a challenge every year. However, next week comes with another one of those teams who stands a challenge. Oklahoma State will host FIU next week, and will they be the team to stop the Golden Panthers' run? We'll see you next week.